and you know what you look like with a shaved head. Yeah, yeah, There's I no secret. My, I sh- I Nux from, from Mad Max. Yeah, yeah. That Fury Road. Time, that was the last time I shaved my head. Yeah. But tell, did you? Uh, I mean, we we not. No. Did you enjoy? I, did you enjoy playing him? How, what, like, what what did you take away? What did you learn from him that you're like, oh, I carry that with me now? Uh, I there's a lot of things I related to the character because mm-hmm. my childhood, you know, I had, you know, there for whatever reason I had a dysfunctional childhood, and I've talked about it ad nauseum how he was very sort of calm and collective mm-hmm. and but when you crossed him when he got to a certain point there was just this intensity and i think in a way that's sort of me i'm very easy going and you know i think i'm likable and i i just felt like every once in a while i something comes out and i'm like whoa wow where did that come from as the character or as, as Both. just as you both. What, what, so what? I channeled that. I channeled that right, okay. a, in, a, in a believable way. And I, and I had this overbearing father on the show, as you know. Mm-hmm. And it helped having such a, a, an amazing actor deliver me lines and just kept me on my toes. And, you know, I talked about this with James. I was just like, you know, I, I'm not saying I was the best Lex Luthor by any means. But I'm just saying, you know, my favorite's Gene Hackman, who signed it to the second best Lex Luthor. But maybe... <laughs> Things would change, but I said to him, "He did actually sign it to the second, yeah, to the second best (laughs) likes (laughs) list." But I just said to him, "You know, Lex needs to be. He's a cool guy. He's a cool character. He's complex, and he's like. And James knows this more than I do. Yeah, Uh, but you know, I just uh, you'll play him your own way and your own personality. And when I've seen you in roles, I there hasn't been one movie you've done that I haven't liked." Thanks. You probably haven't seen them all then. That's true. Um, That's true. But like everything from Warm Bodies, yeah. which I really liked. Yeah. Um, but stop for one second. Okay. I just want to say, but you did you did inhabit him with such depth and charm. And then, yeah, that Thank ability you. to switch, which makes him dangerous and formidable and a great opponent. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 I'll, we can stop talking about him. I just don't but think. I just loved what you did. Thanks. And I um, just, you know, I, I know that James is such a great director and he's not going to be like let's play it really over the top and big and goofy and ha i mean it, it was just that i everyone knows that so i shouldn't do shouldn't do that i think i think but how was the audition process because it was i know it was pretty pretty those things are intimidating yeah it's like a it's a it's a strange scenario to be putting yourselves into um and there's a lot of nerves i suppose um do you lose those nerves after a few takes or it really depends on the atmosphere and how it goes. I find, I find that with, the, with regardless of whether it's an audition or anything in life, if it, if things are going well, it becomes easier. Right. Right. It's like playing. I don't know if you play any sport, basketball or whatever it might be. Make a couple of baskets, and then the next few will kind of get easier and easier. And then if you if you kind of flub something or aren't hitting a motion, an emotional beat or whatever it is, and you get in your head, then it becomes, then you're like scrambling uphill, and it becomes a very different tale i think yeah do you uh, like do you, auditioning uh it depends on the auditioning does that make sense <laughs> yes because i would say sometimes i've had offers and i go on set and they're like oh no no here's what we want you to do but right. when you audition you if they like that that's what you're doing yeah 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 so it's easier well some of my my favorite experiences acting have been auditioning for, for going back to some, you mentioned mad max when to shave my head and all that 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 audition was like the second audition anyway with George Miller was like four or five hours of four or five hours. Yeah. But it wasn't like we did a, we did a scene for like the last 30 minutes, but the the other three and a half, four hours or whatever were, were like playing observation games and like rhythm speech exercises and, and all these things that I hadn't really done before. So I was like, this is fun. And I walked out of there and I was like, you know what, even if I don't get that, it was a good experience and I learned something and I felt like I had my time to, to do something, I don't know, and to learn, as, yeah. a, as opposed to those auditions where you walk in and they're like, say the words and they're like, meh, do it faster or whatever. And then you do it and they're like, meh, okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. That, and that's disheartening. But, you know. Yeah, there's different. been moments where, you know, an audition went so well. And I always have this thing where at the end I just take the audition sides, you know, the papers, and I just throw them away on my way out. And yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. done with it. I do that. You do that? Well, yeah. Again, it's, I guess it's a, a superstitious thing where I'm like, if you keep them, you're holding on to something expectantly. Right. Does that mean? Yeah. Whereas, whereas if they're gone, it's like, because that's also al- almost some of the, it's it's almost a, like a letting go process, I guess. Yes. Of being, of being like, it's out of your hands, which is a nice feeling at that point. You've like, you've done what you 
could. Yeah. Hopefully that was good enough. I don't know. <laughs> but then it's like, yeah, if you carry them around, they're like a little reminder. Even if you're not looking at them or seeing them every day, they're like a little reminder. Or worse, you find them like a year later when you didn't get it and you pull them out and you're like, oh, oh this. could have been. You don't have to tell me, but like, do you have prep? Is there prep besides learning it, besides doing it your own way? Did you kind of watch everything just to get like, just see all the angles and all the um, iterations or whatever? Uh, yeah, I try, I try and get uh, a viewpoint on everything. It depends. The prep, like I said earlier, it's like the, the prep always changes depending. And it can go off on weird tangents. And then it can occasionally, which can sometimes be fruitful and sometimes not. And sometimes you sit there and you go, oh, this has helped me. And other times you go, ah, that, I don't know if I'm really going to use that. But the the exercise of doing it was actually the help, if that makes sense. Yeah. So it's kind of that thing where you go, all right, well, I'm not, that is never going to be on screen. <laughs> the fact that I've read like this random quote or listened to this song or, or sat here for 10 minutes thinking about that. But it does in a weird way, you go, that, that's maybe not, tangibly helpful but there's something about it that down the road helps you feel prepared or whatever it might be that you go okay that makes me feel ready i don't know it's very it's yeah very weird. i mean i i could picture you doing something like this watching and going rubbish rubbish <laughs> huh, i might use a little of that <laughs> rubbish there's no, over the top there's no there's never no, there's, no. <laughs> there's never there's never like watching and being like oh consciously steal things or use things oh no, of course not i mean there's there's definitely things where you go i like that that and i like that but then also like hopefully and this is the experience i had working with james that got me particularly excited um doing our audition process was like his ability to to keep things fun and alive and try things in the moment and be like just shouting out from the monitors say this line do this do that and that's something that i really enjoy because it takes away <clears throat> There can be this thing where you kind of have sometimes the scene and play these beats and get to them and whatever it might be. And then and suddenly when you put the I don't know, cat amongst the pigeons or whatever, then it kind of flips it and changes it and you're trying things and it opens up new things. And then and then I that that I guess is the whole process of prep for me is like be prepared as possible so that when you get there, you can throw that all away and do whatever you want in the moment, hopefully. Yeah. Um, without thinking about it.